Hey, hey. Welcome in. I'm just on here about to work in Silhouette Studio on a couple of templates, just some simple uh, quick designs. So let me make myself smaller. Hey, Sonia, doing good. How are you doing? Don't win good. Carol, hey, how are you? Welcome in. So I'm just uh, working on, I had two um, ideas come up for some simple rhinestone templates. And I'm going to end up adding them to um, create a Fabrica. And so I just wanted to work on one for um, St. Patrick's Day and then just another basic one. Oh, good, Sonia. Glad to hear you're doing good. Hey, picture me crafting. How you doing? Let's see. Dee Dee, hey, how you doing? And picture me crafting said, hey, chat. <laughs> hey, Sharon, how you doing? How y'all been? Yeah, I have been crazy busy, crazy busy. And then on top of that, I actually ended up eating some bread that had dairy products in it. Y'all, I was down for the count. I was down for like two days. So, but your girl is back and I'm good. <laughs> so let me see. I think I'm going to use the impact font, which is my go-to. Zelda, hey, welcome in. How you been? I see you, Zelda, in the in the group doing the um in the Facebook group, dropping them pictures, digitizing, doing your embroidery. I'm like, okay, look at Zelda doing her thing. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna use impact and then this one is just gonna say lucky. And I'm going to adjust the spacing a little bit. Mm. Yeah, right there, I think should be good. So let's see. I uh, might be able to take it down a little bit. Yeah, I think that would be good. So this is 8.3 by 3.7. So make it a little bit bigger. Let's take it to right there. That is 9.9 .9 by 4.4. .4. And once I convert it to rhinestones, it should get a little bit bigger too. Kim, hey, sis. Or should I say Gammy? Hey, Gammy. <laughs> you said you practice it all. That, um, what was it, a varsity jacket? That video you posted in the group, I liked that. That looked really good, Zelda. Like, I really like that one. All right, so let's see. So then we'll go over to the rhinestone panel. And actually, well, let me convert it first and then I'll duplicate it because I'm going to do um, a regular um, full design and then I'm going to do a two color design with the same, um, same words. Hey, Willie, welcome in. How are you? Hey, Vonda. Welcome in. Oh, you're welcome, Zelda. You know that jacket was the bomb. 
Vanda. I'm here, although I'm sleepy. <laughs> oh, you're y'all back at home now? Good, good. I hope y'all get some rest. Deborah, hey, welcome in. Yeah, I'm so happy for you, Kim. Ooh, well, that doesn't look too bad. I have to do a little bit of cleanup on that. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, yeah, I'll go to this one here. Hey, sis, what's going on with you? Welcome in. You're not late. I just got started. I just got started. I had not, me or my husband, we hadn't eat, eaten anything since breakfast. And so once we got off today, we actually went to um, over to the mall to get something to eat at one of the restaurants there. So you are not late. You are on time. So with this one, I'm going to edit. I'm going to clean this up probably remove a row here and kind of work with this K. So not too much cleanup I'm gonna have to do on this one, just a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the rhinestones. And that might take a second. This is 717 stones, size SS10. So it shouldn't take too long to ungroup. Hey, Missy, welcome. <laughs> we just eat two. Ah, uh, except for Carson. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. Yes, you guys, make sure you hit that like button for me. Okay, so I'm actually going to, let me see if I can blow this up, make this a little bit bigger for y'all. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take this row. So I'm just basically selecting the entire row and I'm going to delete that row. And I'm going to do the same here with this U. Probably take it to about right there. I'm going to delete those and I'm gonna hit my shift key and then just use my mouse and grab this row here and I'm gonna delete this too just so I can clean this up uh, let's try right there and I'm gonna delete this as well So how's everybody doing? What projects are you guys working on? Let's see. Okay, that looks okay. Move my mat over a little bit. Um, this U right here. So I'm gonna play around with this and kind of adjust this a little bit too. Doing good, just did a rhinestone shirt. Okay, nice. Why isn't my keyboard working? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna move that one over, move this over. I'm gonna move this one over this way. And then I'm just going to right click, or I'm gonna click on it and right click and duplicate. So I can add another stone. Now I'm gonna just use my arrow keys to move over. Um, I'm using uh, Silhouette Studio, Missy. So this is uh, the business edition that I have, but you don't necessarily need the business edition um, to make rhinestone templates as long as you have the designer edition. Um, and these are just simple designs that I'm doing tonight, just some text designs that I'm converting. 
Um, I do have a sublimation rhinestone combo I want to work on, but I'm actually going to do that one in the wizard, um, the rhinestone world software, because it's just much easier to do in there. But since these are just quick, simple designs, I'm going to go ahead and make them in here and then put these on Creative Fabrica later, if not tonight, by tomorrow. But got to get those St. Patrick's Day designs up. And I also have a Tumblr, um, rhinestone Tumblr template that I'm going to upload as well for St. Patrick's Day also. Oh, it's hard to see. Yep. Let me change the colors. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> My bad. So hopefully that helps. <laughs> Yep, thanks, sis. Yep, Silhouette Studio Business Edition. You're welcome. And so then I'm going to move this one a little bit over as well. And this one and put another one in that space there. Uh, duplicate. Okay, so that one, and you know what? Let's see, since it's for St. Patrick's Day, I might as well turn it green, right? Let's see, give it a second. There we go. All right, uh, let me move this one over a little bit, just a tad. And move this one over. Oh, you made some denim pouches. Nice. Did you do it um, just sewing or did you do any embroidering on them? I want to see those. I bet those are really cute. Um, move this over. Probably going to have to do the same thing to the C. Uh, but I'm just going to select the row and I'm going to shift it over to about right there ish. Let's see. Yeah, right there. And then I would select the um, stone and duplicate and that'll give me another one and kind of just shift these over a little bit. Miss C, I do. Let me get the link. Let me find, where is my Facebook group link? Here, actually, I'll put my, I'll drop my link tree and that'll, um, it's in my link tree. Let me put that in there. So if you use um, that link tree, did it not? And then it'll um, go to, take you to my Facebook group. I was trying to see if I had the actual link, but no, I don't. Oh, actually, yep, I do. It's right here. Okay, here we go. There you go. That's the directly to the Facebook. Oh, my bad, my bad, Kim. <laughs> I don't care. We like slow down. <laughs> okay, thanks, Missy. After the live, I'll um, make sure to um, accept your membership. 
Hey, Crafty Puerto Rican, how are you? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, John, I can't post a picture in. In the Facebook group? Let me see. Um, let me take a look why you should be able to, because people post pictures all the time in there. I'll check into that. Hey, Vanessa. How you doing? So just working on um, this template for St. Patrick's Day. So just a simple text template that I'm doing. And so I just selected that whole row just so I can shift all the stones at once. Then I'm just gonna right click and duplicate and just kind of adjust that a little bit. And then I'm gonna adjust this one too. Now this K, it looks all right, but I feel like I need to I don't want to take a full row. I mean, I kind of like how the K looks. The Y doesn't look too bad either. Mine is the space right here. Hey there, welcome in. Is it Sharon, Sharon or Sharon? I hope I said that right. Welcome in. Still here. <laughs> Never mind, I put in the, oh, okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, you should be able to post you know, I don't, I do monitor the post just in case, you know, I had a couple scammers in there and got them right up out of there. But yeah, you're free to post in the group. You're also free to post like your um, business page, your social media links, um, any of that. I do not mind you guys. So feel free, especially, I mean, you probably can't do it on here unless you're um, a mod, but in my Facebook group, you guys can definitely do that. Okay, it's something about this K, y'all, that I'm not feeling. I don't know what it is. Yeah, um, my husband just walked in the house, and I swear I hear his whole conversation. Like, he doesn't know how to use his inside voice. And whoever he on the phone with, I hear their conversation. Sarah, everything they saying. Yes, make sure you join. Check out the group. Okay, okay, I said it right. Okay, good, 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 good. Leslie, hey, welcome in. Okay, yep, yeah, I will admit you. Actually, let me check now. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Give me one sec, y'all. Oh, I'm not on Wi-Fi. I was wondering why it wasn't coming up. Okay, let me. Okay, Leslie, Sharon, Victoria's Creations, Carol. I just approved all you guys for the Facebook group. So you have access to everything now. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Stephanie, welcome. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody is doing good, having a good week so far. We are halfway there. We are almost there, y'all. Because, whoo, this has been, it's only Wednesday, but it seems like it's been a long week. I don't know about y'all, but that's how I've been feeling this week. Betsy, hey, welcome in. T 
Tina, hey. Karen, hey, welcome in. Karen, how you been? And you guys, if you see uh, the stones moving, so I'm just using my arrow keys on my keyboard. Um, you can use your mouse too, or your arrow keys. I just find the arrow keys just help me keep my rows straight as I'm working with uh, my designs. So I'm just adjusting this so I can add another stone right here. So again, just right click duplicate whenever you um, want to or need to make another stone. And let me add that one here i feel that way too came home from work monday oh wow come here from my brother-in-law's funeral is definitely i'm so sorry to hear that my condolences to you and your family leslie i'm so sorry to hear that Yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's just been one of those weeks. And then it's like the weather. One day it was like 70 and the next day it was like 50. So it's just like, it's just been gloomy and stuff out here. Maybe I should have left that one alone. Nah, I can get another one in there. I can make it work, y'all. I can make it work. Like, yeah, I was saying earlier, like when I first got on, like, uh, well, most of y'all know I'm vegan, but I actually went to a restaurant and ended up eating a sandwich and didn't realize the bread had dairy um, in it. Y'all, I was down for the count. I was down for like two days. Like, I definitely, I knew it right away. Like, I, I just ate something that I shouldn't have ate, have eaten. Y'all, I bet I won't let that happen again. Okay, so that looks good. Just checking out the why. The why looks okay. I'm going to delete these two. The weather is crazy. The wind is howling out there. Is it? It's 61 now. It was, it was okay. It wasn't too bad today. But then like last week, it was like gloomy and raining. And we were getting some of that rain from California. So it's just like, ugh. And it's just like when it's gloomy outside, I just get in those moods where I just be like, oh, I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> uh, Leslie said, thank you, everyone. Um, so you don't, nope, no meat, no dairy, no fish, no animal byproducts, none of it. And it's been going on uh, for about, Dang, how long have I been vegan? Has it been three years or maybe close to four? I want to say I know for sure it's been about three years. But, you know, I've slipped up before, you know, just by not paying attention. And I mean, hey, it happens. I just have a vegan diet. I don't like as far as, you know, some vegans wouldn't consider me vegan enough because I still have like leather products and things like that. I'm like, yeah, okay. I just follow a vegan diet. That's it. You know, so I guess I'm not cool enough to be a full vegan, but hey, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, but yep, no meat, no dairy, um, no fish. Like I had to find a lot of substitutes and um, I actually learned how to make a lot of my favorite foods that I was eating before I went vegan to a non um, a vegan version of those meals. So I can make things like um, a not actually a steak, but steak. Um, you can do that using uh, one of the large portobello mushrooms. 
Um, what else? Let's see. Um, jackfruit. I use that a lot. Um, you can make your own basically mock meats from using uh, vital wheat gluten, um, which is like a flour and you kind of make it into a dough. And then once it forms and then I'll basically shape it almost like a patty or like a block of tofu, put it in the fridge, let it firm up. And then it's like ready to go. I can fry it. I can grill it or whatever. Um, meatloaf, um, vegan ribs. When I tell y'all I've learned how to cook, I basically had to learn how to cook all over again. But it was actually fun. I actually really like the process. Uh, yeah, Leslie. Victoria says, sorry for the loss, praying for you. Yeah, we definitely are. It's 60 degrees now, but the temps are supposed to drop down to 40. Oh, my gosh. Drop down to 40. Whew. I would probably die. <laughs> Seriously. I'm originally from Wisconsin. There is no way I would even visit Wisconsin in the wintertime. Like, I don't even have, I think, well, I have a little light jacket. I don't even have any winter clothes anymore since I moved out west. So I was like, I won't even survive like a full 24 hours if I went back to Milwaukee to visit. I'm only going back there in the months from like, June to September, and September is kind of pushing it. But yeah, when it it actually kind of drops down a little bit here in the winter, and I mean I've seen it get down to thirty degrees. And please believe I don't leave the house. Eight years, okay, Kim. Eight years, uh, three and a half for me. Okay. Yeah, I see. Yep. It was definitely a transition. And when I transitioned, I really didn't realize what it was. It was like, I wasn't like, okay, I'm about to be vegan or I'm going to stop eating meat. It was just like one day we were about to eat dinner and I was just sitting there looking at the food. I was looking at the meat, like, I don't even want this, but I ate all my sides. There was nothing wrong with the food. And then after that point, I guess it was, maybe it was just my body. It was like, nah, you don't need to eat that for whatever reason. And I just stopped. But I, I did it in like in sections. So I basically had to eat pork for over like 10 years. And then I stopped eating chicken. No, I stopped eating beef. Then I stopped eating chicken. And then um, I was pescatarian for maybe like four or five months. And then I stopped eating seafood and just went completely vegan. So I kind of did it in steps. I'm not vegan, but love eating portobello mushrooms. Oh, as a meat substitute? Yeah, jackfruit. I mean, even tofu. I've gotten to the point where I've learned how to make my tofu the texture. I can change the texture on my tofu to make it seem more like maybe like a mock chicken. And it's basically you take your tofu out of the package. And I have a tofu press. You can get them on Amazon. Or you could use like a cast iron skillet, just cover it with like some parchment paper, put your cast iron skillet and just let it flatten out and get all of the water out. And then you'll wrap it up, put it in the freezer. And then when you let it thaw out, it'll basically change the texture. So it's not as like soft and spongy as tofu is. But yeah, jackfruit is a real good one for um, substitute. And um, banana blossoms, you can get those in a can. And that's a good substitute for fish. I use that for fried fish. But yeah, I'm definitely, and I'm still learning, but um, like Sauce Stash, his name is, yeah, Sauce Stash. He's on YouTube and he shows you how to make a 
bunch of different um, foods, vegan and um, what's the other lady's name? Sweet Potato Soul. She makes some really good um, vegan um, meals and stuff like that. So those are some channels that I follow. And the the Chic Natural, she makes a lot of vegan meals too. So there's a lot of um, YouTubers that give some really good tutorials and show you how to make some really good meals. Okay, I think I'm okay with the why and... For some reason, I'm wanting to take away like this, 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 and this. But at the same time, I'm like, nah, maybe I shouldn't. Nah, I'm going to leave it like that. Have you tried? No, I haven't. I'm going to have to look into that. GP, I'm going to save your comments so I could come back to that and take a look at that. Uni, hey, hey, how you doing? Yeah, Uni, I've been seeing you too doing your embroidery thing. I'm like, okay. Yeah, Sofa is good. Yep, as a meat substitute. And it has a ton of protein in there too. I do that. Oh, you, you flatten yours out. Yeah, it, the flavor is different. The texture is different. And then it's like, everybody doesn't know how to cook tofu. Um, even when I go out to certain restaurants, I'll ask them if they could, you know, fry it a little bit longer, cook it a little bit longer. It, it depends. It depends on where we go. But yes, I do agree with that one. Thank you, Uni. Yeah, and flavors, your seasonings. That's the biggest thing, especially with tofu, because it's going to take on any flavor that you season it with or anything you marinate it in is going to come out with that flavor. So definitely if you marinate it, oh, yeah. And you guys, I'm going to duplicate this because um, I'm actually going to do a solid color and then a multicolor as well. So just waiting for that to duplicate and then I'll slide it down and I'll probably just work on this one, change it to um, a multicolor. Deborah said, hey, Uni. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, you guys hit that like button for me. Oh, did I not pull that down far enough? I did not. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you guys hit that like button for me. Oh, chickpeas. Okay, I. that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm going to have to look into that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, chickpeas. I love chickpeas. I love chickpeas. Because I make my hummus using uh, chickpeas. And then there's so much you can do with those too. So much. Like when I make my bowls, um, my different um, bowls with different, all my vegetables and everything. I like putting chickpeas in there and roasted chickpeas. Yep. <laughs> all day. Oh, uh, let's see. See, how do I want to make this a multicolor? Was gonna do an ombre, but maybe I should do each letter a different color. Is what I'm thinking. Hmm. Oh, doing good, Uni. Doing good, girly. Right, Zelda? I know. I be seeing her too. Talk about, I'm trying. I'm like, nah, you doing it. <laughs> you doing it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do this one. Mm, and then I'm actually going to, I think I'm, now that I think about it, I'm going to create a embroidery applique with 
some green HTV glitter. Y'all, that would be really cute, especially for um, St. Patrick's Day. That would be really, really cute. No, just trim and go. Oh, okay. I like that idea. So like do do an outline. Or go glitter. Okay. Okay. That's a good one, Kim. That is a good one. Oh, that does not look gold. Let's see. Mm. Let's see. That's more of a brown. But yeah, gold glitter. That would be cute. That would be really, really cute. I like that idea, y'all. Oh, what would actually look cute with this is probably maybe an outline in white. I actually like that. Let's see. Yeah, that might that could work. So let me go ahead and select this row and turn that white. And let me do my outline in green. And select this row. Yeah, for the longest, I was just selecting one stone at a time and, you know, holding down my shift and clicking. And Uni was actually like, no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> and she's like, just highlight, just select that that row and change it. I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, I was doing it the hard way for the longest. So, and then change that. Yeah, I'm feeling this with the white outline. And let me change that and then that. Yeah, that gold glitter. I'm definitely going to try that. Y'all already know. See, I was just going to work on rhinestone templates tonight, but now y'all going to have me pull up hatch and start working on some other stuff. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. So, yeah, I can roll with that. So, let me go ahead and highlight this whole row. I probably should have actually done this in the wizard because I would have been able to do this in a couple, well, not a couple clicks, maybe a few clicks, but we'll make it work. Kim! Kim, Kim, the way my mind is set up. <laughs> yeah, I, I already have, you see, I already got like three other tabs open. So, you know, I don't know how to work on one thing at once. I'll be trying. I'll be trying. Don't always go as planned. And you do the same thing too. Why are you calling me out? <laughs> Um, how do you select a row? Oh, how do you select a row? Hold on, I'll show you. Give me one sec, Miss C. So I'm actually just um using my mouse and I'm just holding down my um my left mouse or the left side of my mouse, clicking there and then just dragging it down. So I just hold uh the left mouse down and then just glide my mouse down and then select the stones that I want. And then while it's all highlighted, then I'll just go up and change my colors. 
like so like that and there we go and then these few here that are curved so i'm gonna just go ahead so for that i was just holding down my shift key and i selected those two stones and then um change the color uh i was gonna ask what you do prefer the wizard <laughs> the wizard all day um but i work a lot in silhouette studio as well and then when i either do classes or like when i'm doing a tutorial a lot of people use silhouette studio so i'll just create the designs in here to show you guys but i prefer the wizard because it's just so user friendly it is super user friendly uh oh let me move that back and i'm just using my undo to move that back but yeah it's so much user friendly um and especially when you're well when you're making your rhinestone and sublimation or rhinestone and vinyl designs it just makes it so much easier like you can do offsets with the click of a button and things like that that makes it so much easier or you can add rhinestones to design you know a certain area within the design with the, just the click of a button. So it is a really good software, but it is a little pricey. I think it's like 550 or 560 or something like that. So it's not cheap, but it is definitely worth it. The mock-up tool that is in that software, y'all, that mock-up tool is the truth. And you can add your own um, mock-ups. You can add your own garments in there which is really nice. Um, and there's so much more you can do in there. The pricing tool that they have in there, it gives you a breakdown of you know your cost. You just fill in a little bit of the information and then you know click continue and it'll give you a whole printout of you know how the breakdown of your pricing for your garment. Um, and what else in there? Your invoices. You can do invoices right out of there too, which I really like. So that's really nice. So definitely, I do recommend the wizard. If you're, even if you don't do rhinestones, if you just work with vinyl and sublimation designs, things like that, it's a really good software. Um, let's see. And let me change that one. Let's see. Yep, Missy, they have to be released. So I've released, so all the um, stones are released right now. So you do have to release. Nina, hey, friend, welcome in. Um, It's about five. 550, 560, somewhere around there. But it is good. Now, if um, I think it's 800 if you need Coral Draw, because it's actually like a toolbar. Their toolbar is inside of Coral Draw. So they do have a combo package if you don't have Coral Draw already and you need the graphic suite of Coral Draw. Oh, yep, you sure do. Yep, you got to have Coral. So if you already have it, you can just um, get just the wizard software and then you'll um, upload that toolbar. And they have um, they have instructions that they'll send you once you download the software, right? But they have, um, there's a video on there that I actually use on the Rhinestone World's YouTube page and they kind of walk you through it. It's like a, a quick five minute video and it walks you right through it. Oh, no, nah, you ain't late. You are on time. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah, you just have to have um, Curl Draw. And, you know, if you don't want to do 
pay for Coral, you know, them together. You can get Coral on a monthly subscription or a yearly subscription. But if you're going to do the yearly subscription, you might as well, you know, just get the package deal that uh, Matt has for the software. But I already had it, so I just downloaded it and yeah, I was using it within a matter of minutes. I mean, I was learning when <laughs> it, 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 it was a bit of a learning curve. I did reach out to them a couple times. And when I tell you their customer service is up top, their customer service is really good. I think it was uh, Katie. She reached back out to me because at one point, some of the folders didn't download correctly. And so um, I actually gave her, sent her a link. She remoted into my computer, went in, fixed the folders. And like five minutes later, she emailed me. It's like, okay, you're all set. <laughs> like it was that quick. So yeah, they're in their service, customer service is really good. But they have a ton of tutorials on their channel. If you do get stuck, just reach out to them and they'll walk you through it. They've helped me out a couple times, especially when I was starting out with the software. And I really didn't know what I was doing. I was just clicking on stuff. And it's a really good software. Oops, I do want to select that. Yeah, so the green with the white outline, I like how that looks. That looks really good. <laughs> you said sounds complicated. It's not that complicated. I'll have to do a tutorial or go live um, working in there. And then I could kind of answer. I can't say I'm an expert in the software. I don't use everything that it can do, but I've gotten pretty good with what I need to do <laughs> in there. So I can show you guys that. But and you could get a 30 day free trial too if you just want to test it out. And it is um, Windows based. So it is a Windows based product. Um, I do have Mac, a MacBook, MacBook and um, I just use uh, Parallels for mine. So that, uh, that way I can have a Windows environment. And Hatch, same with Hatch, um, a window, Windows based software and so i have to um have parallels on there oops and what else is windows based um that i use oh hot fix error hot fix error is also windows based but um i use that under parallels Good to know. Oh, you're leaning on it? Okay, yeah, I'll do a tutorial for you guys on the live and kind of show you what I've learned so far so you can see the software and, you know, kind of ask questions as I'm going through stuff. But I actually, what I was doing when I first purchased it, I would um, have... YouTube up on one screen. I had the software up on another screen and I was doing exactly, well, not exactly because I didn't have the same designs, but I was pretty much doing exactly what Matt was doing as he was going through it. And that made it easier for me to figure it out. Um, I'm going to add another couple stones right here. So just right click, duplicate, and then I'm going to right click again, duplicate, and move these two over. Hey, is it Stasia, welcome in, welcome in. The one time fee, yeah, for once you purchase it. So the um the $560, $550, dollars, yeah, it's a one time charge for once you get it, then you have the full license for their um software and any updates, you'll get those as well. Um, anytime they release a new version, um, 
you would you do have the option to upgrade and i think i want to say it's about 99 dollars if you want to upgrade to like the next version um and it depends sometimes if it's a huge upgrade where they've made a lot of changes yeah otherwise i mean i recently got it what last year so i haven't had to upgrade it at this point but i think they're working on another version too or like a newer version so we shall see if um is something that i'm gonna upgrade or just leave it as is for what i do in the software welcome in everybody that's just joining make sure you guys hit the like button for me i will greatly appreciate it help uh youtube push me out there in the algorithm it's sleepy time for me i'll check out the replay okay zelda i'll see you later good night have a good night Oh my gosh, dude is talking so loud. Oh, I would love to watch you just to see if you if I could comprehend. <laughs> you will, you'll be able to. If you can, you know, do rhinestone templates in silhouette studio or hotfix error or shortcuts a lot five or you know there's a few other softwares out there that you can use you would definitely definitely be able to use the wizard software because it's just like a, you could just click on one button and you know it's like you could shift a whole row of your rhinestones so they're in sync so they're even it's just y'all it's a good software. I'm going to just have to show you. I could show you better than I could tell you. So I'm going to definitely have to show y'all. Okay, you have Mac. Yes, yeah, so I have Parallels. I like Parallels. There is another one. I think it's called VMware. That's similar to Parallels, which gives you a Windows environment on your Mac and you'll be able to, everything will be fully functional. Like, I mean, I only use that Windows environment just for those particular softwares, but it also syncs your, like your iCloud and everything. So you could pull your um, designs or SVGs and all that stuff. You can still, you'll still have access to all that stuff in Parallels. So it's, it's really, really good. Works really, really good. I haven't had any issues with it. And I actually went and bought a laptop because it was one on sale as I was just kind of, you know, casually strolling through Target. <laughs> and I happened to get that laptop. I was like, oh, I can use this for my Windows-based software. Y'all, I didn't use that laptop like twice. I came right back to my MacBook. And that's just because I have everything on here. So it just makes it easier. <laughs> yes, Hotfix era is, there's going to be a learning curve, but it's more so um, you have to have certain machine to cut your flock. So you have to have like a graph tech or a spangle machine or a bling machine, stuff like that. You would have to have one of those machines to use it. Um, I just wanted to try it out. And um, Axilan actually gave it to me, um, gave me a subscription to test out. So you can either buy it outright or you can um, do a monthly subscription for it. And so I was trying it out. I do like it, but like I said, you have to have a certain machine in order to cut your designs. So I was just like, I'm not buying another machine for this. 
I already got machines sitting around that I need to get rid of. Like, <laughs> so yeah, I was like, nope, no bueno. But it, I do like the software. Don't get me wrong. But I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm not finna get another another machine just to cut some flock. Now, if I get that bling machine, I definitely <laughs> would use Hotfix error more, but yeah. I'm running out of room. In a minute, I'm going to have to end up knocking down a wall because this room and my other room are both like at its limit. Like no more tables, no more machines. Like, yeah, I'm struggling right now. And when I told my husband I need him to knock down a wall, he just kind of just looked at me, rolled his eyes, and walked away. Blue Emerald, hey, I didn't see you came in. Welcome in. I thought that was my husband talking. <laughs> right, I'm like, dude, why do you talk so loud? Like, you talk like he yelling. Um, I missed it. How to use Hatch with a Mac. I'll show you just a second. I'll show you what Parallels uh, looks like and how it gives you a Windows environment on Mac. So you can see that. So I'm almost done with this one. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to um, cut this one out probably, well, probably not tonight, probably tomorrow. And then I'm going to do it green. I'm going to use my green stones with the crystal AB for the outline here. And let's see, I could have used silver, I guess. But at this point, I'm too far in. I'm in too deep. Oh, yeah, the silver looks good, too, but I don't want to go back and change all that. So I'm going to just leave it at white for now. Um, And just kind of figuring out this K here. And let me just see. I think I just had, yeah, I had a couple more people join the Facebook group. Let me accept all y'all. Okay, so I just accepted everybody into the Facebook group. And again, when you're in there, feel free to post, you know, your work, um, your business links, your social media links. Uh, let people know what you uh, what you create because you never know who might be looking for something and you might already make it. Okay. I'm going to still bring this down further. I'm not feeling that. Okay, let's try that. Okay, that works. So let me do the same here, right here, here, and here. And turn that. Okay. And then I'm going to just finish up this here. And then I'm going to show you guys. Well, save this, of course. Regroup everything, save it, and then um, I'll show you guys parallels. And I'm actually just holding down the shift button now and then uh, just clicking on all the stones. And then I'm going to go and change it to white with my green outline. And then I'm going to do the same on this side and then the inside of the Y. And then I'll be done. So this one will be a multicolor. And then... Um, I'm going to have the solid color. I'm going to leave that on there as well. And I'll have this up on Creative Fabrica probably by tomorrow, no later than Friday. 
sometimes they approve the designs, you know, within a few hours. Sometimes it'll be like the next day. I guess it just depends. Hey, hey, Blue Emerald, Taylor May. Good night. Good night. Thanks for joining and watching. Appreciate you. Okay, I'm just moving these over just a little bit, not much. And then I'm going to go ahead and select these. and turn all of those white. And, oh my gosh, I thought I deleted that. I was gonna say, oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, I was about to lose it. Okay, there we go. That has happened before. <laughs> so, um, Oh, let me do these two here. All right. Okay, yeah, that's going to be cute with that white outline. I know it looks kind of weird on here, but let me zoom in. You kind of see the white going around right here. All right, so you know what? I'm going to delete this one because that was before I edited the other one. So let me delete that. And I'm going to duplicate this one and then just turn it all one color. And then I'll regroup. All right. Oh my gosh, this is the part that takes forever. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this and slide that down. And turn that all green. So it'll be the multicolor and then it'll be the solid. Oh, wait, I'm tripping. I was looking at it different because of um, the white outline. Okay, so I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and group that. So just make sure you have everything selected, then you'll right click and then click group. And depending on how many stones it is, sometimes it could take a little bit longer, but this is 666 stones, so shouldn't take too long. And then I'm gonna group this one. Okay, so that one's good to go. Wait a minute, that one looks, the color looks kind of weird there. Then I'm going to group this one. I'm falling asleep. Good night, everyone. Good night, Kim. I'll talk to you later, friend. Get some rest. Okay, so good to go there. Okay, there we go. It was just that outline that was throwing me off. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and save this because I have a habit of closing out a Silhouette Studio and not saving my designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this now. Oh, where's my folder? Creative Africa, here we go. And rename this Lucky and change that to SVG. 
and okay so that's saved so let me show you guys parallels and how the windows environment looks okay let's see give me one moment i just gotta update my screen share Okay, let me stop sharing that one and let me grab the right screen. All right, there we go. So this is a design I was actually working on earlier in Hatch, but let's see here. Let me minimize that. Okay, guys, so this is what Hatch looks like. And if I minimize it, as you can see now, I have a Windows environment. So it's, you know, all Windows. And so Parallels is just the software that you download or, you know, basically an app for a Mac, you download that and then you sign up for it. I want to say you could catch it on sale for about $75. It's usually about $99-ish. But um, then once you download it, you do have to get Windows. So if you don't already have a um, the Windows ID or the Windows key or whatever it's called, you'll have to purchase one. Um, I do have a website where you can get that from a little bit cheaper. So if you do decide to get parallels, let me know and I'll send you the link for that website because I got it extremely cheap compared to the, I think, $200 or whatever it costs. And so you can put, you know, all your softwares on here. I have my hatch. Here's my Coral Draw um, with the wizard. Here's Hotfix Error. And I haven't even used this in a minute. Let me see if it's even still active. <laughs> we'll find out together, y'all. But yeah, it gives you a Windows environment on your Mac. I haven't had any issues at all with it. You know, it does the regular Windows updates and everything. So it's um, like you're actually on a Windows computer. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to resubscribe. Well, we'll see. You know, I can show you guys what this looks like. And it is, it kind of, I'll say it kind of reminds me of Coral Draw as far as how it looks. If it ever opens, I guess that's what happens when you don't open it for a while. <laughs> but yeah, and Shortcuts a lot five, that's another one, but I honestly haven't used that in probably over a year, I think. So, okay, I guess I'm still good. Let's see. So these are like some designs I was just playing around with. Let's do a new document. And this is how it looks. <laughs> okay, so you do have, you know, you can import your designs, your SVG files. You know, if there's any artwork that you want to bring in, you would do that here. Um, if you just want to do a text type of font, you could do that here. Um, and then you have your bling tab where you can path, you can do inner text, you can do manual. Um, and I do like that it has the, um, solve the overlapping stones. So if there, if you do come say, if you convert an SVG to a rhinestone design and there's overlapping stones, this will remove those overlapping stones. So it saves you a little bit of time. And let's see him. It's just looking. Oh, wait, this is what I'm looking for. Let's see. 
and they have vector images. This is actually one that I worked on. They have some that are pre-installed that you could kind of play around with. It's not a whole lot. Um, and then they have some different ones here that you can play around with to just kind of practice if you want to. Let's see, let's do like this one. So if I take this one, go to the bling tab, let's say I want to do, mm, a uniform fill. And I want to use, and I'm gonna use um, auto trace as well. And let's select, um, where's my 16 or my 10, SS10. Um, is that the color that I actually want to use? No, not really. And it's almost like digitizing. So you're kind of taking it around. Now there is, you can um, actually just convert an image to stones too, but this way you kind of go through and create your design. But yeah, this process reminds me of when I'm working in Hatch and I'm digitizing. And it, it's a good software. Like I say, if you have the bling machine, if you have um, a graph tech, stuff like that, you know, you can use this software and you can cut your um, designs with, but you use, you can't save these designs to cut with like your Cameo or your Cricut. I've tried, it didn't work. Cause I was like, okay, if I could get it to cut to, with one of the machines that I have, then I'm all good but it didn't work, so. And I'm just doing a really sloppy um, outline right now. I just wanna show you guys. So let me just go around here, 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 here. And then we'll see how it looks. But again, it is a bit of a learning curve to kind of get used to the software. I just played around with it because there's not a lot of videos on this software. And the ones that they do have are like five to eight years old. And see, see what I mean? That's like, eh, no, <laughs> no. Now I can work with it, I can resize it, change the colors, all that stuff. But it's just like, this software compared to the wizard, definitely the wizard, definitely. Okay, so this one is hot fix error. So this is the one I was talking about that you would need to have a special machine for um, the graph tech, the um, Spangle machine, the bling machine, stuff like that, you can use this uh, software for, but there is a learning curve. And again, I was just wanting to show you guys so you can kind of see you can, but you can import your images. Um, you can, you know, create or work off of SVGs, turn those into rhinestone designs, but this costs the same amount as the wizard. I would tell y'all to get the wizard over this one, honestly. So that is what Hotfix Error looks like. And actually I meant to minimize that, but I was just wanting to show you guys what the um, Windows environment looks like on a Mac. So this is um, how it look. looks just like, you know, any other normal Windows desktop laptop. And it just makes your Mac compatible with um, Windows. And it has all the features 
it gives you all the updates, um, everything. You can change, you know, your um, screensaver, your background, all that stuff. So it, yeah, it has everything exactly the same as a Windows computer. And it saves, um, you're able to pull up your files as well. That's on your Mac. So you'll have access to your iCloud and any folders or anything like that, that you might have saved. But uh, let's see. And then I was actually going to, uh, I got to do my photos. So I got to do my photos and then I'll add that last design to um, Creator Fabrica. Had to think about that. So yeah, y'all, that is what it looks like. And then that design that I created, it'll be up on Creative Fabrica by Friday. I'll drop it in the Facebook group and then I'll post on the community tab as well. Uh, the link letting you guys know once it's available if you want to download it. And then there's another one I'm probably create too. And I'm going to be putting some um, embroidery designs on there as well in about, I want to say, eight different uh, file formats. I actually had it saved here somewhere. So yeah, it'll be in DST, EXP, HUS, JEF, PCS, PES, SW, SEW, VP3, and XXX. So those will be the embroidery fonts the designs when I upload them, those will be the ones that'll be available. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Send me an email and I'll get you um, the link and then I'll get you the link too for the discounted windows as well. I got you. Thank you. Oh, uh, you have early morning. Okay. Well, I will check you out. I'll probably, I might be live either Friday or Saturday. Um, I have some packages coming, so I'm going to do some unboxings as well. So I'll do that with you guys so you can see what I got. And, um, I'll be posting some stuff in the Facebook group. Um, and then the next Zoom class for the members is going to be um, next Sunday. So I'll get those links out to you guys in the emails. If I don't have anyone's email for any reason, then I will uh, tag you in a post so I can get your email and get you that link. So that is one that I was working on. Oh, this is my jet tag. I was actually meant to create a template. That's why I haven't closed this one out yet. So that was a jet tag that I made. Oh, yeah. Did you? Let me check now. I think I just approved you, Stephanie. I think you're in there now. So maybe try refreshing, but um, yep, you're approved. Okay, see you. Have a good night. Uh, let's see. What else was I working on? Some Zodiac patches. This is the one that I started. Y'all know I'm a Capricorn. So, of course, I did Capricorn to test it out. And let's see. And it turned out good. So, I'm going to do all the Zodiac signs. So, that is... Right, let me put that. So that's how that one turned out. So I like how that one turned out. It turned out really nice. So um, I'm going to do all of the Zodiac signs as well. Um, put those on Creative Fabrica. And this was a design I started working on. It's, let me remove the true view. So actually, it's going to be WTF. I just haven't gotten to the F part. <laughs> and so um, I was working on that one, started working on it, and then just haven't finished yet. So I'll be finishing up that one sooner or later, probably by Friday. 
and then making some more um, jet tags. And I'm also going to be working on some lug luggage tags as well. Um, Kim, my big sis, gave me that idea. She was like, ooh, can you make some luggage tags? I'm like, I most certainly can. <laughs> or I'll try. So, so I have some different uh, jet tags. I'm going to um, have them in for different cars or names, business names. So you'll be able to customize those as well. And then that one. And then I'm working on some more um, sweatshirt, t-shirt designs, things like that. So when I do upload the designs to Creative Fabrica, it'll be uh, sweatshirts. I may do some key fobs and um, the patches. Definitely working on more patches. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss C. So, you guys, I'm going to get off of here. It's only 7 o'clock here, but I have some other stuff I need to get done, a couple orders I need to work on. So, I want to come hang out with y'all, say hey. And um, I will be live for sure on Sunday. I'll let you guys know the time. Um, I saw that three o'clock was working really good. But when I went live at five o'clock, I see a lot of you guys like that as well. So um, I'll let you guys know. It'll either be 3 p.m. or 5 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. I said Central Standard Time, y'all. Yeah, I need to go finish this up and go to sleep but pacific time and um i'll let you guys know i'll post it in a group and i'll put it on the community tab so you guys know at least the day before so um i will uh once i get my package i'll be doing an unboxing so that either be friday or saturday so i'll be back on live with you guys then for a little bit as well but if you guys have any questions drop them below if you're watching the replay let me know uh, but if you guys have any questions about digitizing or the doing the rhinestone templates, let me know. My email, let me post that for you guys that might have questions. All things Sean at gmail.com. And don't forget, Axie Land Rhinestone Depot. Y'all know I love them and their rhinestones. So make sure y'all check them out for their rhinestones, their vinyl. Um, they're rhinestone drawstrings. Um, they have rhinestone fabric, all kind of stuff, all kind of stuff. So definitely check them out, axiland.com. All right, guys. So thanks so much for joining. I had a good time chatting with y'all. And until next time, I will see y'all in a few days. Bye, guys. <laughs>